got a tasty treat coming up with Sweet Harmony at Eros in North London. But first, let's check the tunes that are satisfying your soulful taste buds with Touch Magazine's Dance Chart. Number 10, LL Cool J, Shut Them Down. Number 9, MJ Gold and Crazy. Number 8, Nisha, Know My Name. Number 7, Angie Stone with Life Story. Number 6, Hill Street Soul, For Your Love. In at number five, Slum Village Fantastic. Number four, Khalees and Carolina Stone. <laughs> number three, D'Angelo Voodoo. <laughs> In at number two, Q-Tip Amplified. Number one, Come Like Water. originally started as a free party for students but two years later the biggest names in UK garage are gracing the decks every six weeks here at Eros in Enfield North London and tonight Club Vision has been invited to join in the party so take two steps this way I don't know you as I should know to be here talking love love mm. Why are you called Huggy Bear? Because um, I've got the best cuddles in the business, that's why. <laughs> You're going to be giving them out later? I sure am, hopefully. Hopefully it's going to be someone that wants to cuddle me, but there you go. It's all good. Sweet Harmony started in 98 at Middlesex University. You didn't charge for the first two, did you? No. Why is that? Because um, I just I believed in what we was doing. I just thought if we could get a following, that it would grow. Do you know what I mean? So, because um, it was a student event to start off with, we thought, well, We'll keep it free, see how it goes. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, but it did work. And then on your first birthday, you went big time and had all the big names there. And you've never looked back, have you? Do you think it's important to have big names? Yeah, I, I do. I think if you, if you want if you want your promotion to grow, then you've got to give you've got to give you know Joe Public something to actually want to come down to your event for. I mean, at our first birthday party, we used Jazzy Do. He's a really good guy, um, and it worked. What's the philosophy behind the night? Basically, it's just about it's, it's about entertainment. It's about giving the people what they want. So it's not just about putting six or seven good DJs and MCs together. It's about you know, like with this club, it's got a stage, which makes a big, big difference with like the MCs because they can get the crowd participating. And basically, our philosophy is to provide entertainment, not just a night with music, but we want people to come down and think, oh my word, you know, that was mad come back you know where do people come from to get here well it's mainly north mainly north london they're not coming from north of england or anything like that yet but it won't be long so is it really all about uk garage and r&b it is i mean we haven't got any r&b tonight basically sweet harmony here is a basically a garage night if we had the two rooms we'd have we'd have an r&b room as well um we started off as a garage room and, and an R&B room and that is where the name actually came from the fact that we had the two styles of music yeah. and we bought yeah Sweet Harmony. You've got an Iron Nappa dress rehearsal haven't you Plum? Yeah, yeah. Um, basically what we're going to do is just bring in loads of palm trees, loads of sand, cover the whole dance floor with sand and stuff and uh, might even let people in in shorts and t-shirts and whatever and just really get people ready for Iron Nappa. What's been your most memorable Sweet Harmony night so far? I've got to think the Halloween event that we had here um, you know, I turned up here at sort of quarter past eight and it was a mile long queue and it was just a brilliant night. So I've got to say Halloween, but then we're sold out tonight as well. So by the end of tonight, it might be tonight. Hey, boy, right around. Going knock on the door, you were standing with a bottle of red wine. Where did the pot just been long like satin? Norris, the boss, wins for us, everybody. How you doing, Norris? I'm really good. So when would you say you earned the boss title? I had, most definitely, I earned it in 93, 93. I earned my title in 93, 
although I was probably here all the time, but, it, but I got my, got my wings in 93. <laughs> Did you get into music when your mother started pumping out the tunes when you were very young? I got into music from when I first heard it in the womb, I think. Your sister's also musical as well, isn't she, Rose? My she sings. My sister's got a voice like an angel, yeah, and I love her a lot, and she's going to have it. But uh, some things that we're doing, yeah, she's good. At the moment, you hold a residency at Freedom of Baglias and Time and Envy. Where else can we see you? Uh, me, and, me and Chris Creed are starting our own night at um, Velvet Rooms in Chain Cross Road called The Syndicate. What's the idea behind that night? The idea really is just getting back to the roots of um, a nice little party. It's only 250 people. It's like getting a nice, a nice group of people in there and playing, playing some really good vibes, just, some, just vibing, as opposed to having a big, big, massive scream up like air, as you can see, do you know what I mean? So how would you rate the UK garage scene at the moment? Well, have a look for yourself. Uh, it's like it's having it, it's having it all over the place and it's just exploding. Yeah. Do you think it's important then to have nights like yours that's quite small and keeps it quiet? Or? I think they're essential because they're, they're the places where you can educate more, break, break the, be the fresher tracks that might, might not be breakable now because of the commercial aspects with it. So to keep the underground vibe going, yeah, you need those clubs. What have you got on in the studio at the moment? Um, we've got, I've got a couple of projects going with my sister in Creed and me and Grant are starting so the next NNG thing so there's lots going on at the moment, there's lot, lots of it in at the moment. <laughs> Your tune went down well here tonight didn't it? It's out, it should be out, at, this is on so go and buy it because um, I'm on a top 10 track really. <laughs> well they have it more. <laughs> You're renowned for playing funky sets, how would you describe your music? I'd describe it as educated, funky, and danceable, really. Yeah. You like to interact with the crowd as well. I like dancing. I like moving. I like. I'm not. I, you know what I mean, I'm in. I'm in the set, and I'm in the groove, and I'm watching the crowd, and I'm. I'm yeah, I'm in it. Yeah, I like. I like create. I like watching the vibe. I like creating the vibe, and I like getting involved in the vibe. So yeah. What's the vibe like here at Sweet Harmony? Yeah, Sweet Harmony. It's Jeff, pick him up. You've seen it. It's massive, it's huge, it's like, it's, it's noisy, it's like a little pop concert, you know what I mean? It's like, it's all that, it's a Sunday night, a normal Sunday Welcome night. Welcome to see you, am they? <laughs> and the rest of the guys as well, yeah. It's a pretty good lineup down there, yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's some good people there tonight, yeah. Now here you're doing the UK Garage Awards again this year, that you've already tried to do before. What changes have you made? What we're going to do this time is we're going to incorporate it with a concert and we're going to call it UKG concert and um, get the, we're going to get a voting underway in the next couple of weeks really and get the forms out there and just make sure it's more organised and more tight so that um, no one can criticise it really and, they, and this time it's coming from people within not from outside so I'm hoping that's going to be huge yeah. Well back in the day you had residences at the black and white party at the gas club and the legends, what are your fondest memories of that time? Having it. <laughs> and you still are. <laughs> Yeah. Let's into the little 
cigarette. My dad's doing some spin drops. You got a favourite truck at the moment? Why, right, there's so many to choose from. Like, I'm stuck. You must have a few stories. No. <laughs> you won't get your pocket money if you tell me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, I have. Rock Cut Lloyd. He's got a new tune come out. It's really good. A claim to fame? Oh, yes, I have, baby. What's my claim to fame? How do you think Ibiza compares to Ayanapa? I think Ibiza's better. If you like house music, then Ibiza, but Ayanapa for going. In Ayanapa, everyone's got attitudes. In Ibiza, everyone loves it. They're all happy. Why did you wake up this morning and decide that you wanted your hair green? Apart from that, I'm quite normal. So what do you think of UK Garage at the moment? Well, it's getting better. Where else do you go out? In club, where else? Camden. Nice. Time and over at Bromford. Um, this is never down again. Bye, my man, you get down. Bye. Home, gas club. Anyway, really. See you later. DJing on the side, don't you, Dave? I do, you know, when I get bored, I do a few other little bits of <laughs> Your family are quite musical anyway, aren't they? Your grandfather used to sing with Nat King Cole and he released a few tracks as well, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Um, you know, that was basically what kind of got me into that. Um, DJing wise, my dad was a very, very big DJ, so that's what got me into this. Um, he did a lot of pirate soul stations and that, so yeah, I suppose they've all got me into it. It's still their fault. Why do you think Garage suits you? Um, I think it's, it's, it's got a bit more soul to it than, than house, for me anyway, um, personally. Um, you know, the vocal pieces, a lot of samples are taken from R&B anyway, so it's that kind of vibe that's got me there. And, yeah, it's more bumpy than, than house, I think. Can you describe in three words the type of music you play? Um, I'm a big two-step man, to be honest. Um, anything with a big, nice breakbeat in it, um, I like a good vocal as well, so I, I usually keep to two-step. You've recently featured on the True Steppers track, Buggin. Tell us about that. Um, we wrote, I mean, we wrote that literally in about 10 minutes. Um, went in the studio with Andy and, and Johnny. Honest? <laughs> no, we did literally. Um, they had a track already up. Um, I went in there and basically started singing to it and we finished it, you know, writing it in about 10 minutes. Um, recorded it that day. Um, I gave Nikki a ring from All Saints and, and got her to do this like little vocal um, kind of telephone bit for me. Um, and since then, everyone's just gone crazy on it. You know, everyone's been like cutting dub plates for 100 quid and it's, it's just like, it's starting to kick off. So. I think we're going to release that in April and you know, hopefully have quite a big hit with it. For anyone at home that doesn't know why the band split up, well, you lost a couple of members. Um, yeah, I mean, Wayne left. He's now got a production company. He wanted to get into more of that writing and Mr. Bob. Um, and after that, as a three, we didn't really feel comfortable. Um, so, you know, Bobak Bob back went. Um, and, and basically, we're, we're happy as we are, me and Mark. We're going to carry on that way. You know, maybe bring a few different ideas in. I think we're going to say as a two. What have you got planned with Mark? <coughs> um, we're going out to LA very soon. We're doing a thing for Phil Collins' tribute album, which is, um, like we've got Little Kim there. We're doing a song with Khalees and Montel Jordan. Um, excuse me. So we were going to do that and then you know, start recording a new album, I think. So. And does working with the bands and DJing complement each other? Um, can do. I mean, you know, Garrett, I think Garrett is pretty close to R&B, to be honest. It has pretty much the same fan base. Um, so, you know, that's always, always a good link. And you, know, and you know, Mark loves the music as well. Occasionally we go to a club and do it, you know, and, and, and have a night out. So yeah, I mean, it's a nice thing. It doesn't clash at all. Have you ever thought of singing over the tracks you're playing? A bit I like do. what Sonic does? I do a lot, um, to be honest. Whenever, whenever I pop down to a club, if I'm in twice as nice as I usually jump on the mic and do something. But um, usually when I've had a bit too much to drink. Is there anything you are yet to achieve musically? I think there's loads. Um, you know, I don't, I don't feel that we're quite where we should be yet or where we need to be. Um, you know, I'm still going to have my singing lessons, hopefully get better at, you know, as, as time goes by with that. And I, I want to work with a lot more people as well. So, I mean, there, there's a lot to learn, um, but we're not scared to learn it. So, you know, we, we know we're going we're gonna to go there, we're going to progress and, and get better and better. Where else can we see your DJ? Um, twice as nice, I do a lot there. Um, I'm doing a lot of things up north, like Leeds. I'm doing a thing up in Manchester very really soon. Um, I think I've got somewhere up in Coventry as well. So I'm all about at the moment. Um, another level starting to work a bit more, so it's, it's going to get a bit harder. Um, it's nice now, quite an early set, so it's be cool. Are you writing anything at the moment? 
Um, we're writing a few things for the album, but at the moment we're just toying with different producers and writers to work with. So I like to co-write. Um, I'm not, to be honest, not that good musically. So uh, you know, I'll, I'll try and get on that way. But you know, we'll be writing some stuff. We'll have some new stuff out soon. Have you got a favourite track at the moment? Um, favourite track at the moment has to be Bugging Me, which obviously I've done with True Steppers. But um, apart from that, I mean, I like the Wookiee tracks. Uh, big fan. There's a tune out at the moment called Battle, um, which is a big track, but is no one's got it yet. Which I'm trying to get a hold of a copy and no one will give it to me. But that's, that's a great track. Once again, it's flown by, but I guess that means we've been having fun. Another action packed episode is over. I'm off to get my coat and make the long journey home, but you lucky things are already there. I'll be seeing you next week for more Clubbing Capers. On next week's show, we'll take you from coast to coast as we sample Sugar Shack at the Empire in Middlesbrough, go training with the sporting chancers, check the tunes at the top with Club On Magazine's dance chart, and we round the show off with industry at Fusion in Cumbria. Please like, tag, share and subscribe. Now this is Cover Vision, and this is how it's done. This is Cover Vision, Cover Vision number one.